Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescaserace.com coming at you with a whole big old jumbo case of 2024 Topps Chrome Baseball. Eight box, pick your team, eight. Eights are great, there's the case right there. And here are the people that are involved here on a Chew Tuesday, July 23rd, kind of hard to see. We're gonna have to replace that toner at some point, but pick your team, eight. Some of you won your way in, in that blaster box. Thanks for joining into that blaster box. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. Chris, you got last spot mojo with the Rangers. I did post another fresh case of Jumbo. If you're watching live, if you want to get your teams before someone else does, please do so. All right. All right, three autos a box. On average, MVP buybacks in here. Right now, your, your uh, overwhelming favorites at the moment is uh, Aaron Judge in the AL and Shohei Otani in the NL. All card ship, just in case, you know, I mean, all card ship just because we want to ship all the cards, but just keep in mind, if you have maybe some of the guys that are in the second or third place, you know, for an MVP odds at the moment, you can always look those up anywhere on the Google machine. You might want to hold on to those just in case. Deadpool 2 on in the background. In case you're wondering what all the hubbub is on the TV. All right, good luck everybody. There's Nelly De La Cruz. Mookie Betts starting to swing a bat. He might be back for the Dodgers soon. He welcome his return. All those Ellies will go to Sean and the Reds. And Jacob Amaya, our first autograph. I'll do an autograph recap at the end, of course. Howard with Miami. There's Mason Wynn, Cardinals. Michael. Bryce Jarvis, Aqua, 151 out of 199. That'll be for Jeremy and the Diamondbacks. There's Evan Carter as well going to Chris and Texas. We got AJ Smith Shaver, 99 out of 125, blue sonar. 
Sedan Rafaela for Coppola and the Red Sox and Scott Anderson will get the AJ. Does Vlad Guerrero Jr. get traded? About a, about a week, about eight days to the trading deadline. Jackson Merrill for the Padres. That'll go to Air Clicks. There's Drew Millis, 93 out of 499. I think uh, the Nationals might move guys like Jesse Winker. They've got a solid young core for the future, but they may get rid of some of the guys on the fringes that are on one or two year deals or expiring deals and trying to move them along. Jesse Winker might be one of those guys. There's Junior Caminero and Zach Remillard. Who are the White Sox in a trade? Are they going to move Garrett Crochet, Kopech, Luis Robert maybe? Try to restart a rebuild out there. And we got Drew again. 37 out of 350 for Howard and the Nationals. Nice magenta speckle. All right, so there's our first box. Next box, James Lazio, what's up? Are you going to be at the National? We are not going to be at the National. I think uh, I think Nick Jaspi and his dad might pop out there just to, you know, take some meetings. Nick might want to just. Eat. Might go there for a day or two. Might just go out there and you know, take meetings with the industry peeps that we all that we generally take meetings with our distributors and stuff like that. And we're gonna Nick might buy some stuff for the shop and for future Jaspi hit packs. But uh, but no, just just Nick, quick little pop in to Cleveland, pop out. Might just be a one night, two day kind of thing. But our our summer travel budget is gonna go into Fanatics Fest in New York. So me, Michael, Nick, and Marin will be four of us will be going out to New York for the weekend. I think it's three days. In the middle of August. So we'll be checking that out. It's their debut. So that was one of the reasons why we're like, yeah, we should we should go check out the debut of this this big festival and see what it's all about. That I don't know. I think we will be breaking. I just don't know where we'll be breaking. <laughs> Maybe we will have a booth. I'm not sure how they're setting it up or if they're doing like the way they did it last year when we were breaking at the national last year scattered throughout you might have seen this too Adam when you scattered throughout there there were there were little like like podcasting style pod like pods right where it would just be like they'd set up like you know kind of like a big glass sort of enclosure so you don't get too much outside noise going in to where people can record podcasts do interviews Blah, blah blah that we would just set up there with a computer and we would just do some breaks there we would get like x amount of hours a day in there you know we were able to break there so i don't know if they're going to do that style of thing or if they're going to give us a traditional booth so not sure tbd oh right eight that's right. That was a couple years back. Last year, that's where that's where we, we were doing it. Like PWCC, a couple other organizations had sponsored like these like booths where breakers can just go in there and just break or record a podcast or whatever they wanted to do. I thought, which was a great idea. Yeah. It's Kyle Leahy for the Cardinals. That's going to go to Michael because when you get to the national level. 
or at the national, like it gets uh, it's kind of pricey. Believe it or not. There's a nice refractor Jackson Holiday. I dig that. That'll be for Aaron and the O's. Yeah, you should come say hi. Well, I'm sure I'll have more details for you, Adam, uh, obviously, when that gets closer. Yeah, anyone in the New York City area, um, I mean, obviously, we can, we can talk about it a little bit more after the break, but yeah, definitely Google Fanatics Fest and, and find us. It's at the uh, Javits Center, Adam. Which I guess is a big popular convention center. What's there to do around there? I don't know how familiar you are with that area. There's Kyle Harrison, 142 out of 299. Yeah, not a long walk for Penn Station. What didn't they redo Penn Station? I think I saw this will go to uh, Zach Sullivan, the Giants. I think Penn Station was apparently a engineering marvel when it was first made. It was it was beautiful, and then fell into disrepair for many decades. And I think they kind of redid some stuff. Yeah, they re they renovated right in the last X amount of years, somewhat recently. Recent for, for architecture, I guess. Eighty eight out of ninety nine, Green Austin Riley, that'll be for Scott and the Braves. There's a base Aaron Judge. Eric K. Not clicks, different Eric K. But the Yankees bought the Yankees outright. Rookie bets aren't to swing the bat. And there's Brian Wu, rookie auto for the M's. That will be for Steve Kelly and the Mariners. It's near Hudson Yards. Wait, what's Hudson Yards? Is that like a entertainment district? Bars and restaurants? There's Jung Hoo Lee. Shota Imanaga. And Shohei. It's Devin Williams to 150. Shopping area. Everyone posts pictures there. It's a good Instagrammable location. Definitely touristy, says Riffer. Yeah, we'll blend right in with the tourists. I'll, I'll have my Dodgers hat on. There'll be a I Heart NYC shirt that I'll be wearing, I'm sure. That'll be, that'll be really bright and white. Definitely just purchased the day before. You know. I'll definitely be not prepared for the rapidly changing weather of the East Coast because we're so used to California beach weather. You know, I'll be out there, Instagram live, I'll be like, hey, what up fam? We're here, Hudson Yards. You know, chic place to be. Hotels, office place, Hudson. It's actually nice, but Tri City is not particularly close to anything. Well, it's close to the Javits Center, Riffer. We're, we're trying to look for. Maybe you can help. We're going to be at Fanatics Fest mid August at the Javits Center. What's the. What's. You know, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I think. You know, we're going to need things to do. <laughs> can you imagine? Hey fam, we're here at Sabaros for some authentic New York City pizza. Definitely, definitely a touristy move there.
Be like, yo, Joe Jaspi here in the Bronx, here at Olive Garden. Authentic Italian. It's just the way, just the way the Italians do it. Here in the city. And this will be my first time back in New York since my buddy had a wedding out there. Um, I was amazed at the... I was definitely a wide-eyed tourist. I was like, man, look at this public transportation. I can go anywhere. And I did. I, you know, I spent a week out there in, in New York, and I just was, was on the subway. I went to the Met, hung out at Central Park. It's Curtis Mead for the Rays. I was doing all sorts of stuff. And then we were... So we were in the Brooklyn area. We were in the Red Hook in Brooklyn. We were doing a bit of uh, beverage drinking, adult beverage drinking, and and then I was just like, uh, I was like, "Yo, guys, let's go to like Manhattan." I just took the subway there earlier today. It took like 15 minutes. It was nothing. And all the New Yorkers there were like, "What? No." I definitely heard we're not going over the river at this time of night. It's a big hassle. I was like, what are you talking about? It's not like we're going to... It was like people in West LA saying, should we go to Silver Lake? <laughs> and people were, and that's the response that I got, which is the response I would give to people if we were in Santa Monica and someone said, you want to, let's go out to Silver Lake at 11 p.m. The answer would be no, we're not going across the city this time of night all the way to Silver Lake. That's what happened. Terry says, do not diss Sabaros. Do not diss at Sabaros. All right, so uh, Javits is 9, 10, 11th Avenue. You can walk Times Square. Health kids, you need a Lincoln Center if I want to. It's just gonna be hot and humid. Yeah, the humidity I'm concerned about. I can handle heat. It's the humidity. Spencer Horowitz with the Blue Jays. That goes to Zach Sullivan. And a Yamamoto Refractor. Nice one for the Dodgers. That'll be for Adam. Not sure if we'll have... I think it's, it's a work trip, so I think we're basically Friday and Saturday... I believe will be, I think we're, when are we, what's our, I forget what our itinerary is. I think we're leaving Thursday morning. There's a Junior Caminero for the Reds. To get there in the afternoon, evening. Um, in the afternoon, evening, and then so we might have a little bit of Thursday to just go out for a, a dinner, maybe a couple of drinks or something like that. But basically we have, we've got early call times Saturday and Sunday. Friday and Saturday, and then we're pretty much working until like eight or nine o'clock or whenever the show ends. And then maybe we'll have, obviously, things are open late out there, so but we have to go back early. So there may not be time to really play. It's Alexander Canario. That'll be Eric Clicks and the Cubs. Everyone in Jackson be have BO just mentally. Yeah, you know what? I think we were prepared for that last year. Riffer, when the when the AC in Chicago was not working properly, uh, but it was packed. There were, I think there were a record number of people that went to the National in Chicago last year. So. Here's Yamamoto. So I think I think uh, my my olfactory nerves will meant to be mentally prepared. It's Kodai Senga to 350. And the last time I went, I think it, it, everyone was saying the weather was actually great. It was warm, but it wasn't it wasn't super humid. It was actually quite perfect. And there's Joey Estes, 42 out of 150. Blue Ray Wave autograph. Let's go to Katz's. 
for an authentic New York experience. Now we'll put that on the list. Probably, I think the only really fun times we might be able to have is just kind of like a decent dinner at some point. Maybe, I forget what hotel we're staying at, but maybe some adult beverages. Maybe at the hotel bar might be, might be it. Wyatt Langford should have autos in this. Yeah, I was, I was hoping, uh, I was hoping we'd be able to go to like the Met, but I don't know, if, I don't think we're, we're not gonna have time for that. It'll be me, Michael Jaspi, Nick Jaspi, and, uh, and Marin, his sister, who does a lot of the behind the scenes stuff here at the shop. So, small team, just the four of us. I think we'll be there all day and night, morning through night, on Friday and Saturday. Sunday, we'll see. I think our flight's in the, uh, in the evening, I want to say. And usually, people clear out of shows on a, on a getaway Sunday, so I don't think we'll be there for too long on Sunday. I don't, know where the, I don't know where the Dodgers are going to be, but I remember last time I went to New York many years ago, it was, it was kind of wild. Um, it was a trip watching Dodgers games start at like 10 p.m. 7 o'clock start in L.A. would be a 10 p.m. start in New York. Oh, they'll be in St. Louis. So it'll actually be a decent time to watch baseball. Um, it was just weird. The game was ending like at one in the morning or something. Like that. This was before all the rule changes, so so games were like three and a half hours long, four and almost four hours long. I was like, how do people watch West Coast sports out here? Evan Carter. And there's a Darius Vines. Scott Anderson and the Braves. Remember Vine? That social media video platform? All right, yeah. Any X ratings, Dodgers, Giants games on the East Coast? You're staying up until 2 3 in the morning, yeah. Crazy. No wonder there's like East Coast bias in like sports broadcasting. Nice. That Ellie Dela Cruz summertime in the park is 11 out of 50. Sean Moulton and the Reds. Nice one. Another base Aaron Judge for Eric and the Yankees. There's Glass now who's making a start tomorrow off his uh, brief stint on the IL, which is mostly just for rest. Kershaw the day after that. I think Landon Knack, the youngster, is pitching tonight. Wyatt Langford, a refractor. That will be for Chris and the Rangers. Nice. Chung Hu Lee. And PCA, Pete Crow Armstrong for the Cubbies. 285 out of 499. Refractor autograph for Eric Clicks and the Cubs. Who are saying they're standing pat. Maybe even, might even be sellers. There's Shota. Shota will go to Eric Clicks. There's Shohei, base. 
Eloy Jimenez blue sonar to 125. White Sox will probably be sellers. Joe Christian. I think he's a white Joe Christian. I think he's a White Sox guy. And I think it's just he was lamenting yesterday about how that front office will probably just give guys away for nothing. Shohei will go to Adam Kupperman and the Dodgers. Jackson Holiday for the O's. That'll be for Aaron and the O's. And there's Samad Taylor for the Royals. Coppola with Kansas City. Definitely needs to go to Jaspi's autograph camp. You know, learn a thing or two. He's from Corona, California. He's from Southern California. That's about an hour or so east of us as the crow flies. Luis Robert going to get traded somewhere? And there's Tyler Soderstrom, 35 out of 299. That'll be for Ben and the A's. All right, we are halfway through this uh, jumbo case. Four boxes to go. We'll do an autograph recap at the end. Another case of this is loaded up if you want to get after it. Anything on MLBTradeRumors.com? <laughs> this is the calm before the storm. Nothing really. Derek Hill claimed by the Giants. Angels reinstating Luis Rengifo, who has been part of some trade rumors. They designate Keston Hira. Uh, Mariners designate Ty France for assignment, place Julio Rodriguez, J.P. Crawford on the I.L. Twins apparently reportedly working with payroll limitations at the trade deadline. The Orioles willing to trade Ryan Mountcastle, Cedric Mullins. We were talking yesterday about how... Um, about how the Orioles have a surplus of hitters some point and they're graduating a lot of their their prospects too recently so at some point they're gonna have to figure out who they can't have they can't have everybody it'd be a waste to have a lot of those guys sit on the bench without playing time there's only so many positions they can play and 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 pay and eventually those guys start going through arbitration at the same times and they're looking for contracts at the same time they got to figure that out too So this is from Jeff Passan, who's pretty reliable. Baltimore's willing to discuss trades for Ryan Mountcastle and Cedric Mullins, a pair of veterans who have been with this team since it was one of the worst in baseball. It's rare to see him a team with World Series aspirations trade proven and cost-controlled players at the deadline, but the Orioles can afford to part with Mountcastle and Mullins without compromising anything, right? And yeah, they might even get stronger clearing up room on a crowded roster. So we'll see. The Orioles could definitely, you know, shed some surplus. Nice Shohei Otani, one out of 25. No more penny sleeves. That's, that's a psychedelic card right there. That's for Adam Kupperman and the Dodgers. Won the Dodgers in the filler. Nice, Adam. Little Dodger Joe Mojo, ultraviolet all-stars. These are, I think, fall, I don't think they're guaranteed one per case, but these kind of, what, they generally fall one-ish per case, or every other, something like that. So it's a nice short print. 
numbered as well to 25. I don't know what these are going for on the secondary market, but those are nice. There's another Otani there too, strokes. Uh, Orioles definitely pitching. Outside of Corbin Burns, maybe Grayson Rodriguez. They they need a they need a little some extra some extra depth there. You know, guys like Heston Kirksad need more regular playing time. And we got Andrew Abbott. Rookie auto for the Reds. That's going to go to Sean. Nice. A base version of that Otani sold for 110 today, says Terry. Thanks, Terry, for looking that up. And did Arozarena get traded? I'd love to see him as a Dodger kind of solidify that that open left field spot that the Dodgers have there. Yamamoto. And we got a gold, Giancarlo Stanton, 40 out of 50. I think he'll be back from his hamstring injury soon. Too bad it's Otani, says Edward. Salty. Riffer, salty. On a, on a high sodium diet there. And Carter. Wow. There's a new listing for Orange. No bids yet, but starting at 700. All right, Evan Carter going to Chris and the Rangers. We got Austin Wells for the Yankees. We got the Giancarlo and the Austin Wells. Chung Hu Lee. Connor Phillips to 299 for the Red Legs. Sean with the Reds. Another Shota. Another Otani. And Sal Freelick, rookie auto. 52 out of 4.99 for the Brew Crew. Michael with Milwaukee. It does seem a little ambitious, Terry, the price, but hey, more power to that to that seller. If he gets if he gets some Otani super fan, just take all it takes is one. All right, another box. Uh, what do we got baseball score-wise? <coughs> uh, Reds, Braves. Reds at Braves canceled. Rain. Postponed to uh, tomorrow. Looks like they're playing 
He's the 23rd. Yeah, it looks like they're doing a double maybe tomorrow. Padres shut out the Nats in D.C. for nothing. In Pittsburgh, Cardinals beat the Pirates 2-1. to one. Those are the only games that are done. Uh, Red Sox, Rockies, top of the second. Red Sox already up 3 nothing. I'm sure everyone took the over on that game in Colorado. Diamondbacks leading the Royals 3-1, top of the fourth. Diamond, uh, Royals fans not happy that uh, Bobby Witt Jr. got plunked late in the game last night, thus uh, hurting his chances to, get, to complete the cycle. He was just a single away and had two at-bats. Could have had two at-bats. One of those plate appearances was a hit by a pitch and the other one just flew out. But Royals fans not happy about that. Brewers at Cubs in a rain delay. White Sox at Rangers. Rangers are up 2-1 to one in the bottom of the fourth. Scoreless in Minnesota. Phillies. Twins with just three hits apiece. Pitching duel? Who's on the mound here? Zach Wheeler and Simeon Woods Richardson. Yeah, pitching duel. All right. We'll go through some more scores after this. Junior Caminero, Jackson Holiday, Jackson Holiday going to Aaron and the O's. All the Camineros will go to Matthew and the Rays. Here's another base Otani. Tops Chrome, part of the uh, buyback program. And we got Mason the Real McCoy. Another night, another dream. Padres, that'll be for Eric Clicks and the Friars. Here you go, Eric. We got Glaber Day, Aqua Lava, one forty seven out of one ninety nine. Eric with the Yankees. And we got a Jacob Amaya rookie autograph, one seventy three out of four ninety nine for the fish. It's going to go to Howard. I'm assuming Miami will probably move some players too. Yamamoto. Jack Flaherty could get traded. He's been involved with, in some rumors. And Jason Dominguez, nice purple speckle, 79 out of 299. Eric got the Yankees straight up, nice. Jackson Churio for Michael in Milwaukee. And another Marlins autograph, Dane Myers. Dane Myers for Howard. Kershaw making a season debut this week. There's another base, Jason Dominguez. And we've got a Cal Raleigh, 40 out of 50. Gold Wave. Be for Seattle, Steve with Seattle. Rex is saying, here's one for everyone that sells on the bay. Do you think it makes a difference if you end 
the big cards last and cheaper cards first. Big cards last cheaper. I was wondering if you have a lot of odd people are watching and maybe a bit on Shira waiting for the big ones to end. Riffer says no. If you have multiple card, good cards names, people will cross watch this Riffer. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree with Riffer. I'm not sure that if you have like a hundred cards up, you know, I mean, I don't think some people, I don't think people are going to be like, oh, let's bid on some cheap cards while I wait for the expensive cards. It's not like, I don't know, it's not like a, you know, like a pack of gum at the checkout line, right? Yeah, and I'm not sure about, I've, I've heard, I mean, there's got to be, someone has to have done, like, an actual study or report on this. Is Sunday night the best to end? I've heard arguments for and against. I think if you, if you sell at enough volume, I don't think it really matters. You know, because if there's a good card up, people will find it, bid on it and keep bidding on it. Right, yeah, and I think with 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 smartphones nowadays, I, I don't think it's as big of a, and the eBay app's pretty decent too, I, th I don't think it's as big of a deal in terms of timing. Because people will stay up late lying in bed bidding. And they could be sitting on the toilet bidding. You know, they're driving in their cars bidding, you know. Terry thinks Sunday's best for buyers. Friday may be best for sellers. People do get paid on Fridays, generally speaking. I mean, I think if you have good, good stuff and people want it, it's going to sell regardless of what time. Got a Lucan Baker, the Butcher, the Baker, the Candlestick Maker, 99 out of 199. Aqua Wave autograph for Michael P. and the Cardinals. Ellie Dela Cruz, just base. Love to see some parallels of him. Yeah, Riffer saying Friday night, Sunday night, Thursday night, people generally be on their phones is, is my experience. There's Cal Raleigh, 52 out of 99. Um, green wave for Seattle, Steve with Seattle. We got Sedan Rafaela and Jackson Merrill. Thunder. Thunder. There's Drew Millis. I think we've seen him a, a few times here. Howard, you're starting your Drew Millis. PC, whether you intended to or not. Thunder. <laughs> right, exactly, yeah. The common sense times for, for posting listings or ending listings at certain times. Obviously, ending listing at 5 a.m. Eastern, probably not a good idea. 150 out of 199, Bryce Harper. Aqua Lava going to Zach and the Phillies. Mason Wynn will go to Michael and the Cardinals. Evan Carter for Texas. It'll be for Chris. 
Got an Ellie Della Cruz in that 1989 design. Sean with the Reds. Aaron Judge Base. All Etch. And Parker Meadows is your third autograph of the box. Purple Speckle Autograph, 233 out of 299. That'll be for Detroit. It's going to be for Nate. Nate Reuter with that one. Anthony Rendon, 230 out of 250, and O'Neill Cruz. All right, eighth and final box coming up here in Pick Your Team 8. Good luck, everybody. Uh, let's continue on with the scores. White Sox at Rangers. Rangers up 2-1 in the bottom of the fifth. Oh, I think we already talked about Phillies twins still scoreless, top of the seventh. Rays at Blue Jays. Rays are up 4-2 in the bottom of the seventh. Top, bottom of the seventh uh, Subway Series. Mets at Giants. Uh, they're up 3-2 in the bottom of the seventh. And the Orioles are down to the Marlins. Marlins are leading 6-3 in Miami, top of the ninth. Uh, Orioles down to their last, uh, last half frame. Let's watch some live. I've seen Deadpool 2. I'm going to switch over to TBS. Mets at Yankees. Final box. Jeff Francoeur doing TV. I don't, I, color commentary. I didn't realize that. If you're wondering where, what Jeff Francoeur is doing these days. Is that a live line? Yeah, they just flashed the uh, the Mets bullpen ERA getting worse by by the month. We got seven, eight, and nine left for the Yankees. Just down a run. The live line's plus one fifty. I throw a unit on that. And see what happens. Especially if you're a neutral fan of this and you just want to have a little, little extra in this game. All right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. Final box. We got another case in the store, jazbeescaserace.com. There's a Wyatt Langford base. And there's Wade Meckler, 12 out of 150, blue Ray Wave for Zach Sullivan and the Giants. Won that team in the filler. From Yorba Linda, California. The, uh, the birthplace of uh, Richard uh, Nixon, President Nixon. Yorba Linda, just a little bit south of uh, Jaspies, maybe about 40, 45 minutes south of us here. Uh, great presidential library there if you're into that sort of thing. Um, my high school had a, uh, I want to say we had a homecoming dance there. So like they have a large lobby where like the like the dance floor was, and you could still and you could walk around the the library, some of the outer parts of the library. They got beautiful flower gardens and stuff like that. It was really nice. For Shay Langliers, fifty-two out seventy-five, and 
Michael Roberts with the Brew Crew. Here's a refractor, Jackson Churio. I'm seeing a lot of base, but finally a parallel. Langliers will be for Ben. Oh, what a what a play by Pete Alonzo. They couldn't finish it though. Here's Andre Lipsius, six out of ten. Low number here. That's uh, that's for you, Nate. Nate with the Tigers. Low numbered autograph. I'll always take that. Nice. Base Ellie. And there's the relic. It's Masataka Yoshida, 47 out of 50, piece of the jersey. Look up those letters and numbers right there on that hologram sticker. MLB.com slash authentication. You can check out uh, when that where that jersey came from, what date. You could look up his game log, see what, if anything, he did. Coppola with the Red Sox. There you go. Got a Michael Conforto for the Giants to 199. And a Jackson Merrill. There it is, Chris Valmont for the O's. Aaron with the Baltimore Orioles. I think Nate did play that Yankees plus 150. Oh, look at that. There's a Jason Dominguez refractor for the Yankees. That will be for Eric. Nice. Got another Mason win here for Michael P. and the Cardinals. Let's see how we close things out here. Juan Soto and Devin Williams, 132 out of 350. We'll go to Michael and the Brew Crew and Connor Phillips at the end right there. There you have it, boys and girls. That's the break. 2024 Top Chrome Baseball, eight box jumbo. Pick your team eight. Here is the recap. Pretty solid stuff, I want to say. I know Tani was nice. Some solid stuff, ladies and gentlemen. We do have another case in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. So get in and get after it. Get your team before someone else does. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com.